Hi guys, so with a thanks to Tom from Running Physio. So Tom had put this on the gram this week, looking at heel pain with some surface anatomy. And I'd looked at that and I kind of thought, I'm not sure if they're off a little bit. So Tom and I had had a bit of a chat um, offline and online actually. And he sent me through an original for me to annotate and share my thoughts. So bless him, he sent through the original picture non-annotated so this is really what I think if we're thinking I'm not, I'm not going to put all the pictures up but in terms of plant fasciitis here's one of my kind of plastinated models the majority of the fascia paint we'll see so that plantar medial surface so if we were to look on the underside of the foot it would be somewhat medial of center now on this particular plastic model the fascia is not really on because you're just getting a little bit of abductor hallucis but it's at that point there so if you're looking on the underneath Plantar fascia will be plantar medial there, and that heel pad syndrome, which we don't really see too often, a true policeman's heel, a true back, a true, sorry, plantar calcaneal bursitis, excuse me, we don't see kind of so often. Sometimes they'll kind of blend in, and I think it's often quite difficult for the scanners to, to pick up the difference between a true policeman's heel, which I've got images of, and um, the, the plantar fasciitis, and... You know, the, the, the fascial origin does go a little bit across, but really think plantar fasciitis, fasciitis plantar medial. So not the best picture there. Um, so do you know what? I'll do a proper surface anatomy vid at some point when I get five minutes. So let's throw in the course of the tibial nerve. That's the best I could, I could get in PowerPoint. So it's going to go through into the plantar surface of the foot. Obviously, it's going to spread and do. It's going to come in through at about that point into the foot, and then it's going to supply everything via medial and lateral plantar nerves and where you're going to see most tarsal tunnel syndrome I would suggest which is going to be at about this point here so that's the portopedis the abductor canal and that's the point where you're going to see most fascial compression of the tibial nerve rather it can be anywhere along excuse me that point it can be kind of high up can be further down but it's mostly further down I would suggest now the first branch to come off that tibial nerve, which is obviously not in this model, comes off at about this point here, and that's the medial calcaneal nerve. It becomes superficial quite quickly, and you'll get, rarely, you'll get a neuralgic medial heel pain. If you look on my channel, you'll see some vids where I've done a few injections for this. Tibial nerve splits into the tibial, correction, tibial nerve splits into the medial and lateral plantar nerve, and that bifurcation can be variable, but the first branch off the lateral plantar nerve is Baxter's nerve, the inferior calcaneal nerve. Now typically, Tom, in your picture, you'd, you'd label it higher up. Typically where you'll see a Baxter's nerve pain in terms of palpation will be plantar lateral, and you'll nearly always see it with a heel spur. Baxter's nerve can be compressed at any point as it goes through the musculature, but you'll often look for neuralgic plantar lateral pain, I would suggest. Um, FHL, um, FHL tendonitis is pretty unusual, but that's about the cause of that, and your picture has suggest you're a little bit high and um, insertional Achilles tendinopathy is kind of further back so again looking at our model the insertion is kind of it's all that way down I think I've probably got some videos on my channels where I'm talking about retro calc stuff um, but, a, but a true Haglund's deformity when we see it sorry guys about the model is high up on the on the heel there and you'll get a pre Achilles bursa deep the Achilles but insertional is is further down so, cool YouTube videos. Um, I'm going to look at some more of these then, Tom. Um, but you've inspired me to do some more surface anatomy. But that's it for today. If you can hear people coughing, it's because my next patient's waiting. So I'll disappear off for now. Let's have a bit of a riposte to that.